going on today guys me lego man 213 here bringing you an update video on the 2004 dodge ram 2500 5.9 liter cummins turbo diesel four-wheel drive slt truck we own um i just wanted to do an update on stuff we've done to it um new tires new exhaust pipe new shocks uh we've waxed it um i'll go over the specs of the motor uh see what else um show you the sound of the exhaust i'll back this up this is what i'm going to use to show you guys the exhaust i'm going to back it up because the exhaust is so loud now that it tends to be you know kind of not right when it's the video is recording it but i'm going to start it up show you the specs of the motor and whatnot um talk about different things and hi sooner doggy so yeah so let's get right into it unlock it here yeah he's smart okay so I actually tried this video already once and I actually screwed up I forgot a whole bunch of things and um, I didn't tell a lot of stuff but first things first um, with diesels actually You see that coil right there, um, if the coil is, oh my gosh, there we go, Let's try this again. I'm trying to get this good for you, for y'all. There we go. So if you see that little orange coil down there, you have, for a diesel, you have to wait to start that up. Um, it just gives a compression. But um, I'll shut the door and so you guys can hear me talk. Um, so. Six-speed manual transmission. It rolled 105,112 miles, so it's not even broken for a, a Cummins turbo diesel motor. Cummins are built to last. Um, I'm gonna, you know, show the motor, talk about the specs, like I said. So pop the hood here. Pretty much everything is all the same in this truck. We just cleaned it. Um, we waxed it probably two weeks ago, I think. So I'm gonna have to talk a little bit louder because diesels tend to be louder than normal. Um, but I will talk louder for the motor. Alright. Okay, so what you're looking at here is a 5.9 liter Cummins turbo diesel producing 325 horsepower and 600 pound foot of torque. Um, it's a very good motor for pulling. Um, my family and I, we went, we do uh, dice runs now and then for the with the Polaris Ranger with four wheelers. And we used to have a 16 foot stock trailer, and that thing was pretty heavy. And it would, this truck would tow it pretty good. I mean, 600 pound foot of torque with the 5.9. I mean, this thing's got a lot of torque for when it was back in the day. This truck had like the best torque. K and N air filter, we love those because they're lifetime. Well, they're not lifetime. You can just literally blow them out with an air gun and they're good to go pretty much um, we did the oil change on it um, I think that's pretty much it for the motor let you listen to that it sounds pretty good we've undercoated the, the um, underneath of the hood we do undercoating because in New York uh, the state tends to run salt on the roads and this is a southern truck came from South Carolina the the state tends to run salt and uh, if you don't know salt corrodes so we tend to keep our trucks nice um, my family and I so if you look under here you can see that this is all there's like no rust on this truck at all still got the gooseneck ball in it you can see down there that's where the gooseneck is come around here for you guys so it is louder than the last video I did of this truck because of the new pipe um, I'll show you here. So as you can see here, that pipe right up there is the new one. My dad put that in. It's got, it doesn't have the muffler anymore. It still has the catalytic converter, but that muffler gives it a little bit more fuel economy and a little bit more uh, pulling power. Makes the run truck a lot um, better, lets it breathe more. Um, new tires on the truck as well. Um, we put them on. They're very amazing tires. I'll let you look here. They've got nice side walls on them. They're good off-roaders, all-terrain. 17-inch uh, rims, very nice. 
we put Rancho shocks on them. Ranchos are like the best shocks for this truck that we, well, we think, my dad and I. Um, you can see there they say Rancho right on them. But, yeah, that's pretty much it for the truck. I mean, it's the same, it's the stock, standard stock tail pipe you get from the factory. We just put the, the pipe in there. Um, it is very loud, I'll give you that. Let me see if I can uh, get you guys hooked up here. Sorry about that, guys. I. Oh. I'm trying to get this to where you guys can hear it. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. I'm going to jump in the truck, rev it up, let you guys hear it. Okay guys, I hope you guys could hear that pretty good. I mean, it sounds better in person, but my phone doesn't really pick up loud sounds extremely well. But, I'll hop in the truck here where it's nice and cool and we can do some talking. Okay, so let's get some air con on in this joint. There we go. So, with this truck it's got the you know the, the six-speed manual i've driven this truck plenty of times to know it drives like amazing i mean this thing if cadillac were to make a diesel truck it, this would be it because it's just that nice um i think that's pretty much it i'll show you here i'll, let, I'll open the door I'll let you guys look i'll put the camera on the on the dash here you guys can see like it, it moves it like if it moving like if it's moving like this that's because it is it, it's got that much torque it's going it's it's twisting but that's better it's a lot quieter that's the temperature in good old New York 68 degrees very comfortable out very nice especially nice when the clouds come out but yeah guys i think that's pretty much it for the video i'll jump in the truck i will shut it off here that way i can talk to you guys i'll do one more rev so you guys saw that too the truck will shake once it shuts off because that's got um, that's how much torque and power it's got um in the second gen trucks which are from 94 I believe to 2002 I think it starts at 94 I just know it goes to 2002 second gens the they were they were just so crazy the belt would chirp when I believe shutting off I can't remember specifically but yeah that's pretty much it guys like comment and subscribe let me know what you guys think let me know if you're at the end of this video if you guys want to see an update on the rumble bee in the background there let me know what you guys think if you would drive it we're keeping the truck. It's an awesome truck. We're definitely not ever going to sell it. But yeah, guys, like I said, like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Lego Man 213 out.